storage. Maybe I'll look at it. Tao Hotel. Alpha. Alpha. Williams Bay is also home to many great restaurants like Cafe Calamari, Skips Alamo, Daddy Maxwell's Cafe, The Shore Club, and Pier 290. Pier 290 is the restaurant right in front of us here. We're approaching it right now. And this also is the headquarters of the Gage Marine Company that is the parent company of the cruise line. This is where we keep the boats here in the winter months. Most of the time, the boats will usually just stay right in the water. We have aerators that will put underneath the boats that'll pump uh, air up around the hulls of the boats, preventing ice from forming. A Pier 290 restaurant is put in about five years ago. It's a very great restaurant. A lot of the homes that I've talked about today that have been torn down, a lot of the things throughout those homes are featured in the restaurant. The owners have done a great job in salvaging a lot of the remains from those homes, refurbishing them and then putting them inside the restaurant. There's a group of white homes with the green rooftops. They're in a semi-circle off to the right there. And those are known as the Congress Club because all of the original founding fathers of those estates came from an area of Chicago where Ashland, Marshfield, and Paulina intersected at Congress Street.
Right now, as we exit Williams Bay, we're rounding Conference Point, the site of Conference Point Camp. One of the many camp facilities here at the lake. And off to the left side of us here is the deepest part of the lake, reaching a maximum depth of 142 feet deep. That could completely submerge a 14-story building. The lake averages 61 feet. The surface area is 5,263 square acres. 20,000 years ago, this lake was formed by a glacier scraping across North America. And in 1834, a government surveyor named John Brink was sent to this territory to name and discover some of the landmarks. When he came here, he was reminded a lot of Seneca Lake near his hometown of Geneva, New York. Thus, he renamed this Geneva Lake in honor of his hometown. Right in front of us here atop the trees is the domes to Yerkes Observatory. Yerkes was established by the University of Chicago and still today is owned by the university. Their Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics. A couple of unique things about Yerkes is that it holds the world's largest refractor telescope. It has a 64 foot long telescopic tube that houses a 40 inch lens. The entire instrument weighs over 20 tons. Also, Albert Einstein, when he first came here to the United States, he requested that he got to go two or three Yerkes. Edwin Hubble, for who the te Hubble Telescope is named after, he got his doctorate here at Yerkes, and that Yerkes is also noted for discovering the planet Pluto.